What's going on my exotic family? Welcome back to another video. So today's video I wanted to go over things to consider before buying reptiles online. I know my last couple of videos um, <clears throat> kind of just showing uh, you know different unboxings and everything and I've brought a lot of new animals into my reptile collection so I figured I'd do a video on basically things to consider before buying a reptile online. Um, especially with the pandemic we're facing right now buying reptiles is probably like the biggest way to get new animals um so without further ado cue the intro all right everybody welcome back uh, as you can see i'm here with my brazilian rainbow boa medusa um, so she's gonna be hanging out with me for today's video um, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Um, one of the first things that I consider before buying reptiles online is, is the breeder reputable? Um, whether it's an actual company, whether it's a private breeder, um, does this breeder do enough to get my attention to spend my money? Um, you definitely don't wanna go out there and just give your money to anyone, especially depending on what reptile you're getting. I mean, in my opinion, no reptile is cheap, whether we're talking upfront cost or care, you definitely don't wanna just give your money away um, so definitely do your research read reviews reach out to people that have bought from this particular company breeder or whatever just to make sure that there's no shady business going on i'm kind of dealing with the situation like that myself but i'll do another video on that um, <clears throat> another thing to keep in mind is going to be um, what does the animal look like um, i know a lot of companies breeders they use stock photos um, what i mean by stock photos they'll use one main photo uh, a general photo of what the animal actually looks like versus a picture of the particular animal you're inquiring about so don't be afraid to reach out to the breeder um, or company to see what that exact animal looks like now in my opinion if they're not willing to work with you to give you that picture or anything like that then you should not buy from them um, you are spending your money and there is nothing wrong with you wondering what the particular animal that you are spending your money on looks like that is not an issue at all um, another thing to look at is um, guarantees does this company or person have a live arrival guarantee um, what do you do if this animal um, comes to you okay bye medusa uh what do you do if this animal comes to you in a non-healthy condition um <clears throat> so that's definitely something important to look into um especially now um like i said with uh, a lot of animals being bought online you just never know what can happen um, which brings me to my next point um most most companies people breeders um they will not ship unless this is unless it is at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Um, so that's definitely something important to keep in mind. And that's for the overall safety of the animal. You don't want it to be too cold um, or too hot for that matter. So <clears throat> definitely make sure um, that whenever your animal is being shipped and delivered to you, the overnight temperature does not uh, drop below 40 degrees. So um, something I probably should have mentioned in the beginning, um, before even considering buying an animal online, um, before purchasing that animal online, make sure you have a complete setup for that animal. Um, you don't want to buy an animal and it gets here and then you're not, you know, you're not prepared for that animal. Um, it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, you know, why get an animal if it doesn't have a home? Um, so definitely make sure that you have everything you need uh, for that particular animal. So when it comes home, um, you know, you unbox it, it can get right into its enclosure and quarantine and get acclimated to its new home. Um, as well as before any of this, do your research before you get that animal. Um, I see this almost, okay, as you, as you can see Medusa right here climbing from the chair to the soaking tote over here. She's just doing whatever she wants to do, so don't mind her, but, um, one thing that I do see a lot online, I'm in quite a bit of you know Facebook groups and Instagram and you know people hit me up directly, they'll get an animal and then they'll ask how do they keep it, what the temperature should be and, and things of that nature. Um, that is definitely something that should be done before buying the animal, um, before you know contacting the seller. Um, make sure you've done all your research um, on that said animal before bringing it home. It just makes the transition a lot easier um, and it, in the long run, the animal will be a, little, a lot more stable. 
Um, something else is don't be afraid to ask questions. There's a lot of people out there that'll, you know, they're spending money on these animals, but they're afraid to hit the breeder up and ask questions. No, ask as many questions as you can. Um, me personally, the companies and breeders I deal with, uh, whether it be snake, lizard, whatever, if I have a question, I'm going to ask it. If I'm spending my money, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that animal survives. I'm asking questions. What are you feeding it? How big is it? How often are you feeding it? What size mice, rat, whatever are you feeding it? Those are things that are going to help you in the long run and also benefit the animal. All right. So also, um, something big in the reptile community, um, and it kind of goes back to research. If you find a particular animal you like and you are considering buying it, um, also research the page or ask the breeder if this animal is wild caught or if it is captive bred. Um, like I said, I'm dealing with the situation right now where I was told an animal was captive bred and as I got it here, um, I did unbox this particular animal um, and I kind of, you know, observed it a little more. This particular animal is not captive bred um, like was said on the website. Um, so. Um, I'm dealing with a bit of a thing right now. This particular animal is still in quarantine and um, there will be a vet visit, um, which I will do a YouTube video on that as well. So um, always ask questions. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Make sure you get as much information out of them as you can. Um, once again, that animal is coming to you and you wanna do everything you can to keep that animal in good health. Um, so ask good questions. Um, research the company, the breeder, whoever, talk to other people, do your research about the animal, make sure you have the setup. Um, those are things that I consider before buying animals. Um, I think it's very important to not only research the animal, um, but research everything you need about the company before spending your money. Um, it's just something nobody wants to be ripped off. Nobody wants to deal with, you know, paying for an animal and then having to spend more money on an animal to take it to a vet, which is what I'm doing. But like I said, we'll save that for another video. So kind of a short video, but I just kind of wanted to do a quick one run through of things to consider uh, during this pandemic, um, because, you know, a lot of people are buying online um, and I've seen a lot of people recently just get burned when trying to buy animals online. So be on the lookout, keep your eyes peeled. Um, and then I'll also, if you guys want, let me know, drop a, uh, drop a comment down below. If you guys would like me to do a video on where I've gotten all of my reptiles, I can definitely go through every single one of my reptiles and tell you and post the company information um, on where I've gotten a particular reptile. So let me know. Um, but uh, for this video, that is it. I thank you for tuning in. As always, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay exotic.